Hello, in this video we have this problem. We are going to solve for the value of k both complex and real. We have k power 12 minus 1 equals 0. What we are going to do is we can write this as k power 6 or power 2 minus 1 power 2 and this equals 0. We make use of difference of two squares. If you have a power 2 minus b power 2, this equals a minus b times a plus b. And in this case, our a is k power 6 and b is 1. So let's start using this. We are going to have k power 6 minus 1, we have k power 6 plus 1 and this equals 0. Now that means we are going to have k power 6 minus 1 equals 0 or we have k power 6 plus 1 equals 0. Now let's consider this k power 6 minus 1 equals 0. How do we solve for k here? That means we can as well rewrite this as k power 3 or power 2 minus 1 power 2 and this equals 0 we make use of difference of two squares again remember a power 2 minus b power 2 this equals a minus b times a plus b so we are going to have k power 3 minus 1 we have k power 3 plus 1 and this equals 0 so we proceed now let's consider the first one here. So we can consider k power 3 minus 1 equals 0. Now what do we do? We can as well raise this one to the power of 3. Then we make use of this identity. If you have a power 3 minus b power 3, this equals we are going to have a minus b. Then we have times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So what we do is to insert where we have A, we have this, K, and where we have B, we have 1. So that means we are going to have K minus 1. Then we have K squared plus K. Then we have plus 1. And this equals 0. So solving this, we are going to have K equals 1. Or we are going to have k squared plus k plus 1 equals 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation. This is a real solution that we have gotten. Now, let's solve this quadratic equation in order to find the other values of k. So, we are going to have k equals negative b plus or minus. We have square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. And from here, you know, we have a equals 1, b equals 1 and c equals 1. So let's insert everything. We are going to have k equals negative 1 plus or minus. We have square root of 1 minus 4 divided by 2. That is 2 times 1. And this equals negative 1 plus or minus root of negative 3 divided by 2. And this simply means we are going to have k equals negative 1 plus or minus root of 3 times i because of this negative here divided by 2. Now, this is a complex solution for k. Let's also consider this k power 3 plus 1. So we consider what that. So if you have k power 3 plus 1 equals 0. Now, how do we solve this? This can be our case too. So that means we are going to have k power 3 plus 1 power 3 and this equals 0 and from here we make use of this identity if you have a power 3 plus b power 3 this equals we are simply going to have a plus b then you have a squared minus a b plus b squared so we are going to insert like what we did here we insert where we have a we insert k and where we have b we insert 1 that means we are going to have k plus 1 then we have k squared we have minus k plus 1 and this equals 0 then from here we have another real solution that means k equals negative 1 then let's go ahead and solve this we have k squared minus k plus 1 equals 0 we make use of the formula method we have k equals 
negative b plus or minus, we have square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. And from here we have a equals 1, b equals negative 1 and c equals 1. So let's insert everything. We have k equals, that is negative negative 1, we have 1 plus or minus. Then we have the square root of b squared, that is 1, minus 4ac, 4 divided by 2, that is 2 times 1 is 2. So that means we are going to have, this will give us k equals 1 plus or minus root of negative 3 divided by 2. And from here we are going to have k equals 1 plus or minus root of 3 times i divided by 2. Another complex solution. Now we are done with the first case, the first set of case. Remember what we had here? We are done with the first k power 6 minus 1. Now let's consider this k power 6 plus 1. So we go back here. We have, let this be our case 2. k power 6 plus 1 equals 0. Let's solve this and have another 6 solutions. So right now, what we are going to do is, we are going to rewrite this as we have k power 2 or power 3 plus 1. Here, we have 1 power 3. And this equals 0. Because 1 power 3 is 1, so we haven't changed anything. Now we make use of this other identity. If you have a power 3 plus b power 3, this equals we have a plus b times we have a squared minus ab plus b squared. So let's do that. We are going to have k squared plus 1, we have times if you have k squared raised to the power of 2, you are going to have k power 4 minus, you are going to have k power 2, then you have plus 1, and this equals 0. Now let's go ahead and solve this. That means we are going to have k power 2 plus 1 equals 0, or we have k power 4 minus k power 2 plus 1 equals 0. Now, let's consider this one here. We are going to have k power 2 equals negative 1. So we take the square root of both sides. We are going to have k equals plus or minus square root of negative 1. And this equals plus or minus i. Because square root of negative 1 is i. So we have plus or minus i. Now let's solve this for another complex solutions. So we are going to have k power 4 minus k squared plus 1 equals 0. Now I can decide to say Let's rewrite this as maybe you can have k power 2 or power 2. Let's do that. Then you have minus k power 2 plus 1 equals 0. So from here, I can say let x equals k power 2. So from here, we are going to have x squared minus x plus 1 equals 0. So let's go ahead and solve this quadratic equation using formula method. For ac divided by 2a. And from here we have a equals 1, b equals negative 1, and c equals 1. So let's insert everything. We are going to have x equals 1 plus or minus. The square root of b squared, we have 1 minus 4ac. We have 4 divided by 2, that is 2 times 1 is 2. Then we have x equals 1 plus or minus square root of negative 3. And this is divided by 2. And this simply equals, we have 1 plus or minus square root of 3 times i divided by 2. Now, recall our x. Let me write here, recall x equals k power 2. Let me take us back there. Remember, here is it. So that means k here. If k equals x power 2, that means we are going to have k equals plus or minus the square root of the x. That is 1 plus or minus root of 3 times i 
divided by 2. 